April 13th. Today we're reading Leviticus 17 and Psalms 20 and 21. It's really easy to be bored by Leviticus. It seems so unnatural and unworldly. It's a completely different time. And yet the lessons that God teaches are actually very impactful to us. They matter. So in Leviticus 17, we learn about limitation of sacrifices. Verses 1 through 9 says that there are issues that the Mosaic Covenant was requiring people to do. D.A. Carson, in his devotional on this, says, apparently some Israelites were offering sacrifices in the open fields, wherever they happened to be, according to verse 5. Now, some of these were probably genuinely offered up to Yahweh. Others were into synergistic patterns, offering sacrifices to the foreign deities of the time. And it was very easy to assume out in the field that those observances would win the favor of God or the gods, thereby securing crops and nice kids and all these good things. And in fact, the tabernacle or temple system brought people under the teaching of God's words so that they would know they came not to earn something from God, but in thankfulness to what God had already given them. This is the same truth that reminds us why we need the church it's very easy to just be like, hey, it's me and my religion. I'm just going to do whatever I want. But when we gather with the church and we submit ourselves to the teaching of God's word, we are reminded, I have to do not what I think is right, but what God commands. The second part of this chapter, verses 10 through 16, is the prohibition against eating blood, which in our Western world seems obvious, but the reason is very specific. It says, For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. Verse 11. The point of it is not just blood is gross. The point of it is that where there is no blood, then there is no forgiveness of sins. And so the blood was for something special. It was to teach the people how the only sacrifice of life that could atone for sin since punishment of sin is death, and this would have grown on. This is a holy and special thing. In the church today, we continue to do this as we take communion, and we remember the blood of Christ that was spilled for our death. So as you read this, you got to remember that God is showing importance. His eternal law is being communicated through even these specific commandments to teach us We must consider holy the things that God considers holy. And we have to come with an attitude of submission to what he says important. As we approach Easter, I hope that is a reminder to you as well. Consider important what God considers important.